great conductors. What is it that makes them great? Would you say it's charisma? Would you say that it's uh, an ability to get an orchestra to play almost beyond its capabilities? Or would you say that it's an understanding of style? Well, there are all sorts of considerations. But one conductor who for me is consistently or was consistently outstanding was the Austrian conductor Hans Rosbaud, who could play a number of instruments in the orchestra, read world literature in their original languages and studied science journals as well. So he was a real Renaissance man. Now, there are numerous recordings of Rosbaud. A lot of them have come out over the last few years and they represent his enormous range of repertoire. And I'd like to play just a few extracts of what's available. Most of them are on the SWR uh, label. That was the Southwest German Radio Orchestra, which he conducted, uh, taken over by Ernest Bohr and then Michael Geenan later on. Uh, but Rossbaugh's performances are truly exceptional. I'm going to start with the Brahms. A recording of the Second Symphony, a broadcast that was made very shortly before his death, and yet um, the, this performance of the Second Symphony is remarkable for its control and the depth of feeling. Here's part of the second movement. <laughs> depth of tone in that performance that uh, Rosbaud draws from the orchestra is remarkable. It's perfect for Brahms. This is a set on the SWR's own label that includes all four of the symphonies plus the two serenades and the two piano concertos. Now what about Schumann? Well there's a Schumann set just come out including performances of all three concertos and the first and fourth symphonies. Now for me one of the most remarkable recordings is of the piano concerto with wonderful pianist Annie Fisher. Coincidentally about the same time um, the same label has brought out a set devoted to performances by Claudio Arau conducted by um, Rosbaud's successor with the orchestra, Ernest Bohr. Also very fine, but very, very different. And what you can hear if you compare the two performances of the first, perform the first movement of the piano concerto is how Rosbaud follows um, Fischer, uh, keeps the pace with her. The balance between her and the orchestra and him is perfect. With Bohr and Arau, Arau's playing is very, very different, much more uh, flamboyant, much more uh, heavily pedalled, I suppose, as well. But um, it's very grand. But first of all, let's hear Arau. <laughs> Now that's typical big boned Claudio uh, Arau. It's wonderful playing of its kind. Fisher, more spontaneous in a way. I suppose she tends to speed more, uh, lighter in tone, although just as dramatic. And Rosbaud there, a great conductor, uh, following her, leading her on, responding to all her gestures. I rather prefer this. <laughs> That's Annie Fisher with Hans Rosbaud conducting. 
Now, the Schumann Violin Concerto, I have to confess, is my favourite violin concerto. I know the Brahms and the Beethoven, the Mendelssohn, probably even the Tchaikovsky are possibly greater works, but the Schumann is so personal. The equivocation in the emotions that are expressed, the sense of tragedy, the sense of daring in the work even. It's a, it's a wonderful work. Henrik Schering is one of its greatest interpreters. He made a famous recording with uh, Antal Durati conducting the London Symphony Orchestra and uh, there's one with Ross Bowd included in this Schumann box. I have to say it's probably the greatest recording I've ever heard of the Schumann Concerto. Uh, Schering is just as good and just as eloquent in the Durati performance but Ross Bowd's understanding of this score makes it uh, brings it a cut above I think all its rivals. This is a little bit of the centre of the first movement. That is such a remarkably beautiful performance. It's actually worth the price of the set on its own and it's not a terribly expensive set. Now when I did the Tchaikovsky uh, Fourth Symphony for a gramophone collection just uh, a month or so ago, uh, Ross Bowd rated pretty highly his um, recording with the SWR Orchestra. And I'd like to play you part of the first movement which will give you an idea of the solidity of uh, Ross Bowd's approach, why I loved it so much, that sense of structure. You would have thought that the Klemperer would offer that as well, but not so much. This performance, uh, he keeps it going and yet it's emphatic it's emotionally committed, it's often brilliantly played, you get the idea, you get the feeling that the orchestra is playing flat out. This, as I say, is part of the first movement. <laughs> It's a pretty stunning Tchaikovsky for that. Now, I said uh, earlier on that um, Ross Bowd was a master of various instruments and he was a very good pianist. Uh, there are recordings of him accompanying uh, singers in Lieder and he was a good opera conductor. There are Aix-en-Provence performances of Mozart that have been uh, compared very favourably with the Fritz Busch recordings from Gleinborn. But I'm going to play you part of a performance he gave of Bartok's Sonata for two pianos and percussion because he was extremely well known and celebrated for his interpretations of modern music. Maria Bergman is the other pianist. <laughs> Judging by his playing there, he was probably a dab hand at jazz as well. Petrushka was another work that he was superb in. There's a famous recording with the Concertgebouw Orchestra, but with his own orchestra, he gave a performance which was even more incisive and dramatic. Listen to this. Do 
you get the feeling of essential Russianness in that score as well. Schoenberg, of course, he was very famous for at a moment's notice. He gave the world premiere of Moses and Aaron. That was in the 1950s. And uh, there were various other works by Schoenberg that he conducted with great success. I want to play you a little bit of the orchestral variations, which was one of Schoenberg's masterpieces. And he really drives this music, gets a, a really dramatic effect from it. is there from uh, Rossbaud that was Schoenberg the orchestral variations well there's Mozart there's Haydn and there's Bruckner he did most of the Bruckner symphonies they've come out on the same label and they're marvellous Mahler I think he was exceptional and we've yet to have a, a comprehensive collection of Rossbaud's Mahler performances and there are quite a few of them I don't think he did all the symphonies but certainly the ones he did were exceptional well, 12 minutes isn't very much time to give you an idea of the genius of Hans Rosbaud as an all-round musician and a great conductor, but I hope I've done him some sort of justice and uh, that you will uh, explore more. You can certainly find out via the internet what's available. And thank you for watching.